Hello everyone, Emmanuel here. And in today's fast tutorial, we're going to talk about a quick tip to improve your masks. This tip might not work always, but can be very useful, especially if you tend to plan your geometry and UVs. So let's get started. Remember, if you like the videos, you can support the channel via Patreon, or you can buy some of the plugins and assets available in Gumroad. To show this technique, we have this guitar pickguard with a black color that Arthur from Charlotte Studio was kind enough to model. Now imagine that we want to add a thin white line on the side. To add it, we create another fill layer, set it to only color, then set the color to white, and let's add a black mask. Now we could hand paint the line, but that could take some time in order to get a decent result. The good thing is that Arthur knew beforehand that we wanted a white line, so he split the UVs accordingly as you can see here. Thanks to those UVs, instead of painting we can just use the polygon select tool and select the white parts. And now we have the white line. But the result is not that good. We can see all that ugly aliasing along the edges of the line. If we zoom out, it's not that bad. But if we do a close-up, it looks pretty bad. To fix the problem, we need to change the UV padding space using the texture set. So let's go to the texture set settings. And after the channel section, there is a combo box called UV padding. Let's change the value from 3D space neighbors to UV space neighbors. And we can see immediately the result we want. What this parameter is doing is to change the padding calculation in the selected texture set from an XYZ space to a UV space. This space is important because this is what defines how Painter will set the texture set value in the UV scenes. The common rule is, if you are planning to paint across UV shells, then you can use the 3D space neighbors. And if you plan to use the UV shells to control different material transitions, then you can use the UV space. If you want to read more about this, I'll leave a link to the documentation in the description. Well, that's all for now. Hope you learned something today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time.